the, the number one thing is the SIL, the glue code, the simulink interface layer to, to CSS. It's an invaluable tool for a test. We really think it should, we want to keep the, the out there completely, and then also we want to uh, continue development on it. I think uh, we have some testing infrastructure that ties in great with the film and the uh, things which uh, there was a little bit of discussion on earlier. Uh, the thing of our group, I'm going to count that group on your part, the OTI and the uh, we do model based design. Uh, we have some hand-developed applications. Uh, 
Uh, most of these were drivers, but also we have a nice uh, uh, telemetry test and telemetry output uh, that um, for it very, very nice. These imaging simulations, and then we do some uh, you know, all the kind of work in that environment from the code, and we a
Aaron W. Gillespie was their QA for uh, Laddie. And so we put them all in the spreadsheet that we would then read out of the spreadsheet and it would auto generate scripts. Those scripts would, would go all into telemetry. You could do it from the workstation simulations to straight from simulating. From, from either the processor in the loop, the hardware in the loop, or the spacecraft. Or also, Greg Lines did most of the work for the CMT dictionary and would verify all the advanced telemetry. All that information, and they would put up a little web page and a chart of the, the state of, uh, of, it, of all. So, you know, you do the, we need to put together a, a little deal of it turning from all sides where everything's failing to yellows and greens. This is something else we wanted. We want to update the structure there to it, but it was custom to Laddie. So uh, we had hoped uh, after Laddie, the, the head of Laddie, Butler Hine, had given us the uh, of the components, but we didn't have time to get this one up and and. In a spreadsheet or in a database, or we're doing or the document system that handles this. We a uh, we're using a database of a system that collects all information on the, the data into the database. We go through a changes. So if one developer changes the name of a automatically get propagated to a consumer. So we wouldn't there wouldn't be a break in the code. And usually we find it during the nightly build when things wouldn't compile. We propagate all the way through so that all developers didn't have to sync up everything they wanted to add a field or change it anymore. And from there when we went to for Latin, we included started including message IDs, the tables, uh, calibration curves. We've since on um, RB and Biofinical, which is using this, they're learning more and more information. We went as far as, you know, even the pitch from the different uh, the hardware, we would trace from a connector or from an instrument that comes all the way to a command and then back to a telemetry point. And this is very useful for. And for biosensical, have uh, they made a Django base? And then also, these are two different projects that's difficult for them to sync up. So they're trying to make it very generalized. So the process to customize this, but the general tool has these rec files that they're using, uh, those sort of things are quick and easy. So those, we, we, you build it, read from the database, anybody can use it. We continue this. We just about their own uh, solution. So this is our analysis and kind of put some ideas in there. Make sure we were satisfying everybody. The, the CubeSat is just just in um, this one here. A reform prospector is a lunar drill. They actually did this. I, I don't know the you know, but they just completed one RP15 and now they're on. So uh, they're, they're using CSD and CFS for the time uh, algorithm. Most Foundation for reading, looking at telemetry for ISS. They're hoping to actually raise the PRL level of these technologies and get them running on the ISS in a passive mode. And then the UAS project, uh, the operating system, 
part of um, uh, autonomy in the, in the national area. What they do is a feasibility study based around CSS and the, the first 15 for you uh, for autonomous uh, U.S. right now About oracles and tests? Is that something like TDD or is it something else? Uh, it's it's uh, it is the person we have things that are clearly that be violated within flight. It's really like you cannot simultaneously be in safe mode. And in fine points, you would for a spacecraft or, or uh, conditions like that. Any combination of, of uh, anything you can quantify. That's a, that's a very binary example. Not exceed so many Gs given the situation. Or that might need to be calculated, or you might have something that will measure that. If you quantify that and then extract that from the telemetry. That information from the telemetry. So we look at the unit level as oh, the data handler would make sure this never happened, or the the uh, you know we would never purposely it would never put itself in that command. But all the other systems, the state estimator, would it of of these rules would control system would it observe these rules? Where we could, and we call that an oracle, we say the state that the stuff was in. We define it for anywhere that we could, and then we'll always run a test, whether it be in just straight out of the, 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 the work simulation or on the spacecraft. And it is direct to pop up a big red. Their 
correct plan. Thank <laughs> you. 